Maryam says, how did Mother Aisha narrate hadiths? Did she narrate it to men and women alike behind the curtains or how was it done? Well, without any doubt, women did not stay behind curtains because they were women like Mother Aisha. So they went and sat with her and mixed with her and stayed with her for a long time and learned a lot from her. But also she had a lot of relatives. And some of these relatives were great scholars of Islam, such as Urwa ibn Zubair ibn al-Awwam, the son of Zubair ibn al-Awwam, may Allah be pleased with him, one of the ten heaven-bound companions, and the son of Asma. But he was not a companion, he was a tabi'i. Yet he narrated a very great deal of hadiths of Mother Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. And he was one of the fuqaha, the seven fuqaha, if I recall correctly, of Medina. And he was known to be one of the scholars of Islam because of such knowledge he had received. And there were men who were mahram to her, like the sons of uh, uh, her brothers, her nephews, for example, or their children, those who were not mahram to her used to come in a special chamber in her house and she would speak to them from behind a curtain, behind a veil. And she was their mother. She's the mother of the believers.